Hi all, here I am going to do the past strategy for the subject EST102 Programming in C. This is for the 2019 scheme. So we can see module wise questions. So coming to the first module, important questions say the canon no. We didn't have to say that in the past strategy prepare in the previous year question papers in a analyze the time. For module one, the basics of computer hardware and software. We will use the same strategy. Again, it is a class strategy. So, part A focus on the definitions of ALU, control unit, then differentiating system software and application software, then primary versus secondary memory. This is the same thing. Module 1 is part A. So, we have the questions. Then, part B is the AM4, full 14 marks. Then, in part for part B, you have to master the drawing of the flow charts, writing algorithms, and pseudocode. For at least three of these, from three of these programs, at least three, learn how to draw the flow chart, algorithm, and then pseudocode. Linear search, you have to learn the flow chart and pseudocode. Then bubble sort, flow chart and pseudocode. Factorial of a number, sum of first n numbers, then largest of three numbers. Among these five, you can select at least three. Then learn the how to draw the flowchart and pseudo. Then also you have to prepare, explain the functional units of a computer with a neat diagram. Functional units of a computer or list and explain the purpose of five important CPU registers. So these are the questions you have to learn from module one. Coming to the second module, this program basics. Here the strategy applied is part A you have to focus on these questions. Differentiating between while loop and do while loop. Break and continue statement. Types of operators briefly. Part A means you have to explain briefly. Then what is static variable is. Then purpose of the go to, state, go to statement and why the use of go to is discouraged. So these questions you have to learn from part A. Then part B focuses aim for one strong answer. Two options are there. Either you can opt for the theory question. If you are comfortable with programs, then you can opt the option two. So theory, you have to learn. Thoroughly explain different data types in C. Then the second question is explain various operators in C. Arithmetic, relational, logical, bit wise. Then provide examples for each type. These two questions, you can learn if you prefer theory questions. Or if you prefer the option of programming questions, then you can you have to learn this. Write a C program to implement a menu-driven calculator performing the basic arithmetic operations using the switch statement. Or you can learn this one. Write a C program to check if a given number is prime or Armstrong number. So the part A, you have to learn these questions. And part B, you can select option 1 if you prefer theory questions or option 2 if you prefer programming questions. So that is about module 2. Now module 3, arrays and strings. This is very important module. Arrays and strings le part A le focus into the how to initialize one dimensional and two dimensional arrays. Using a, that is one question. The next one is using a library function to compare the strings. For example, string compare function. So part A, you can focus on these two questions. And coming to part B, aim for a strong C programming answer. So here you can you can expect a C programming question. You must prepare the, this following questions. Write a C program to perform linear search on an array of numbers. The second question is write a C program to solve an array of numbers using the bubble sort. Transpose of a matrix is good. We will write the programming questions. Module 3 part B learn chain. Then Another, you must also prepare the string handling part you have to prepare. You can take, choose one approach. Either theory question you can prepare or programming question you can prepare. If you prefer theory questions, the question is explain at least four string handling functions. STRLN, STRCPY, STRCAT, STRCMP with their syntax, purpose and a small example for each. So that is the theory question. Or you can come to the programming question. Write a C program to reverse a given string or check if a string is palindrome without using the built-in string library functions. So here you have the option of to choose between the 
theory or a program. You can learn either theory or a programming question. So this is about the third module. So third module is about the arrays and strings. Part A, you had to focus on these two questions. Initialization of one dimensional, two dimensional arrays, then using library function to compare the strings. Then part B, you had to focus on this programming side. Array part, you had to pro focus on these programs, study these programs. And string handling, either theory you can learn or program you can learn. So after that, now we can come to the module 4. So module 4, it is working with functions. So here you can see the strategy. Part A. For part A, you can focus this question. Differentiate formal versus actual parameters. Formal versus actual arguments or parameters. Then advantages of modular programming. Then the key differences between structure and union. These are important. And what a function prototype is. So these questions you have to compulsorily study for part A. From module 4, part A the questions. Then coming to part B. Aim for one strong theory and one program or combined question. Program and theory combined question also they can ask. So for module 4 you have to learn. This is the high priority question. That is explain all storage classes in C. Auto, extend, static, register. Detailing their storage, default initial value, scope and lifetime. With a clear C code example for each. So this is a for part B you have to learn this is a high priority question then the next question is a programming question recursion program write a c program to find the factorial of a given number using re recursion or display the fibonacci series up to n times using recursion so this is a recursion program you have to learn then you have to learn a structure program write a c program to create a structure example it can be a student structure with roll number name marks or can be a product structure with ID, name, price, and quantity. Then write functions to read data for n students or products and another function to display their details. Read, read and display the details. So these are the important questions from module 4. Part A, these questions you have to focus, and part B, theory part, you can focus on the storage classes, and you will have a recursion program and also you'll have a structure program. Coming to the fifth module, fifth module is about pointers and files. Part A, part A focus on three mark questions. Differentiate text mode versus binary mode file operations. Then how to initialize a pointer variable. Then the purpose of fseek function. Different, then differentiating between PR name versus char star name. Then differentiating address and the various, um, address ampersand versus the indirection operator. Then modes of opening a file. Read mode, write mode, append mode, R plus, W plus, A plus. So these questions, part A, questions are. Then coming to part B, you have to aim for a strong theory answer on files or a pointer based program. So file handling, high priority, theory question, at least five file handling functions in C. Example, fopen, fclose, fprintf, fscanf, fseek, ftel, rewind, fgetc, fputc. From this five file handling functions, you have to detail their purpose, syntax, and an example for of usage for each. So that is about from the theory question, which is of high priority, file handling in another way. Then pointer programs, pointer program, explain how pointers are passed to functions, which you pass by reference. And illustrate this by writing a C program to swap two numbers using pointers and a function. Then another pointer program is the write a C program to print the elements of an array in reverse order using pointers. With another pointer in the render programs. Then file handling in the program. If you are comfortable with this, you can do write a C program to copy the contents of one text file to another text file. So this, these are the questions from part, from module 5, part A and part B. Thank you and all the best for your exam.